Hey there, buddy. A little brutal getting through the traffic there. Um, here we are. Let's go make it happen. Um, it's an economic development summit. Super excited. We're we'll doing some video work. Um, and I get to know a lot of the different businesses and great connections here in town. So, got a nice thick stack of cards. It goes from 8 to 8 to 130. So, let's go. Let's go take it over there. Good morning, everybody, here um, at the West Houston Economic Development Summit, here with Lolita, who's been a member of the Houston West Chamber. So, Lolita, Lolita why don't you introduce yourself to the people that don't, might not know you? My name is Lolita Gordon and I'm a certified stress management coach. I'm also a speaker and the author of the book Crush Stress While You Work. All right, wonderful. And so how, um, what made you decide to join the chamber and still continue to be a member? Well, first of all, I love how many people are involved and the activities. You know, I was just talking with another lady when trying to tell her that she really needs to join because the calendar is like, they said, so how, what did they do at the chamber? I'm like, you don't know? You need to go to this website to see all of that calendar. Like, seriously, in one week, you can go to two, three or four events. And I love the differences. You can go, like, if you're busy, you can go to breakfast or you can go to lunch on, or you can go after our networking. So it really accommodates you all through the day. So if you're busy in the morning, you can go afternoon and also I love how much they educate you. Not about only about the business, but about the marketing and about all the things that as a business owner you could have questions about. Uh, I love how many people come to those events, so it's a big one boom. Um, another part of what I love, uh, I'm one person company, I'm a speaker and a coach. And you know, it gets lonely sometimes in my office. And I love the camaraderie. You know, I, I can come to any event and I feel welcomed. You can talk about anything. I actually forge lots of very close relationships and make lots of friendships. And, and, and I love the chamber. I mean, New Year started and I'm all up again. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then for you, um, how can people get in touch with you? Uh, for me, you're welcome to go to my website. It's called beamazingyou.com. And, um, all the information there, all the contacts is there. So you also go on the Facebook and uh, same name, Be Amazing You. Also, you can go to Lolita Guarin and get connected. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Lolita. Here we are. The agenda for the day. Norris Conference Center. Registration. Ms. Carrie. Julie. All the volunteers. Sean. Julia. All the volunteers. Here, we're great for all of, all the sponsors. Let's go here. Let's go down. People are already networking. The banking forum. So far. Good morning. What's up? <laughs> the marketing forum coming later. Healthcare forum. And then down here, we're gonna find <clears throat> kind of drinks and whatnot. So these we have a lot of businesses that have their booths and tables set up around. People are already mingling and networking. Hi, Jonathan Lowe with the West Chase District. We're here today at the West Houston Economic Development Summit. If you are uh, attending, please stop by our expo table. We've got lots of great information all about the West Chase District. Mobility, public safety, beautification, those are our main pillars. Uh, you can find out more at our website, westchasedistrict.com. We've got five miles worth of off-road hike and bike trails that we've built. We've got a farmer's market every Thursday from 3 o'clock at the corner of Westheimer and Rogerdale. Uh, it's a great place to work, it's a great place to live, it's a great place to play. So come on out at the West Chase District. So good morning, here with Dr. Hodges. Um, Dr. Hodges, why don't you introduce yourself to people that might not know who you are. 
Yeah, hi, Zachary Hodges. I'm president of our Westside campuses of Houston Community College, and I'm here today at the Economic Development Summit uh, to uh, engage with our, our fellow employers and, uh, and business people around the importance of workforce development in its relation to Houston Community College. You know, training a 21st century workforce is critical to the success of Houston. And Houston Community College is the one that's training that workforce. So creating access, opportunity, working with the chamber on community capacity building, all of those are directly related to our role and our mission at Houston Community College. Really proud of the job we're doing. We have to give people 21st century work skills that, uh, that will prepare them not only for current jobs, but jobs of the future. So it's a real pleasure. I always love working with the Chamber. And uh, we're good partners and we're building West Houston and Houston uh, for the future. Hey there, everybody. Had a great uh, event there. Uh, fantastic. Really well put on. About 400 attendees. Um, so there was different breakout sessions, uh, banking, retail, workforce, and also um, marketing. Marketing, healthcare, retail, banking. Um, and so it was a great opportunity to go to those different sessions. I took a bunch of videos and footage uh, for the Houston West Chamber of Commerce as part of being a committee member here. Um, and then was able to have some great one-on-one -on -one conversations. Buddy Justin came, who's a videographer, running his own, you know, content creation and strategy business. Um, and so I was able to introduce him to some of the people that I know here and really make some of those good connections. And then um, after um, after that, I was able to have a one-on-one -on -one with um, Dustin, who works over at the Houston Dynamo um, organization. It's the soccer team uh, for the MLS. And so I was able to see, uh, talk with him about the value and what he thinks that, that we could possibly do there. And so, um, you know, it's just looking at different ways to be able to um, recognize the team that I work with. Hey, they had a great month. Why don't you bring them out and do something different, um, do something uh, kind of from a recognition perspective? Or, <clears throat> or is there a particular pr a prospective client that I'm working with that I can take them to something that's a little bit unique and create that experience uh, for them? Um, so it's about 2.30, 3 o'clock. Going to run, pick my nephews up, then go pick up a, uh, a running stroller so that way I'm not pushing the, the tiny little wheel stroller. And then, um, and then that'll be it for the day. I was able to get about 21, uh, just kind of my business cards, 21, 22 uh, new business contacts. Um, I think there was somebody that had automatically entered in on LinkedIn. So just a great event. Um, so again, my, my strategy then with them is the moment that I've met them face to face is shoot them an email, add them in on Salesforce, uh, my CRM, and then also um, at, connect them on LinkedIn. And in the email, it's, hey, great meeting you today. I uh, want to be able to see if there's an opportunity for us to connect and uh, stay, stay in contact that way. Um, maybe you're available in the next few weeks. So that's the idea um, of my, my marketing strategy. And then I'll shoot them that email maybe two or three times. And then if they don't want to meet up, kind of three strikes you're out. And then just, just reach out to them another day. Uh, put them into maybe an email marketing strategy that goes out every other month or put them into the letter program that goes uh, uh, three times a year, uh, Thanksgiving, New Year's, and I'm looking at doing one in the summertime, so maybe like uh, uh, back to, no, no, not back to school, that's pretty close to Thanksgiving, something in the middle, maybe Independence Day, 4th of July, so that way you don't have to worry about if someone's a particular religion, particular culture, or, or whatever. Everybody, if you're in the United States and I'm sending you a letter, you're going to celebrate Independence Day whether you're an American citizen or not. Terms out.